To download and install Fabric for 1.19.4, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to open our Minecraft launcher and you want to select the version of Minecraft you want to play. In this case, we want to download 1.19.4. Okay, so once Minecraft has loaded, this means we've got the files installed to our system, so we can go ahead and quit out of Minecraft and install the Fabric mod. So to download the Fabric mod, the first thing we need to do is go to our web browser and you want to go to fabricmc.net, now I'll leave a link in the description. Once you're here, you want to click on the download button, and from here you want to select the download for Windows if you're using Windows, alternatively if you're using another platform, you want to use the Universal Jar. So we're going to download for Windows, and we're going to download the installer to our desktop. You'll also need to download the Fabric API as most mods require this, so you want to click on the Fabric API link and it will take you to the CurseForge website. From here you want to click on the Files tab and then you want to scroll down slightly and you want to select the version of the Fabric API you want. In this case we want the 119.4 version. So you want to click on the download button and then after 5 seconds the download will begin and you want to go ahead and install the Fabric API to your desktop just as we did with the installer. So now we've got the Fabric Installer and the API downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install them. So you want to right click on the Fabric Installer and open it up. And once it opens it would look like this. So to install Fabric it's very simple. The first thing we need to do is click on this drop down menu and you want to select your Minecraft version. So we want 119.4 and then for the loader version you just want to select the latest version. You then want to check that your Minecraft installation is correct, in this case it is. And once you're ready you want to make sure Create Profile is ticked and you want to click on Install. It will take a few seconds to install and once it's done the pop-up box will appear. So you want to click on OK and that's it. So now we've got Fabric installed to Minecraft, we just need to go ahead and install the API. So to do this you want to right click on your Windows icon at the bottom and select Run and then you want to type in percent update percent in this text box and select OK. Once your file explorer opens up, you want to select Stop Minecraft at the very top and this will take you to the installation of your Minecraft. So to install the Fabric API, we just need to drag it into a mods folder, which we currently don't have. So we just want to go ahead and create a new folder, and you want to call it mods, and then you want to select OK. From here, you just want to go into the mods folder, and all we need to do now is drag and drop the Fabric API into the mods folder. Just bear in mind that when you install Fabric mods in the future, you are going to be drag and dropping the Fabric mods into this folder here, just as we did with the Fabric API. Okay, so once Fabric has been installed, you just want to reopen your Minecraft launcher and then you want to click on the release drop down menu and you want to select the Fabric version. Once you're ready, you want to click on play and then you want to click on I understand the risks and click on play. Okay, so once Minecraft opens up, you notice that it will say your Minecraft version along with Fabric and modded in the bottom left, where you can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with your mods just as you normally would. And that's it, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.